Hey everyone, Carlos Vargas here, and um, I got a mm, question the other day on how I make my dirty martinis. So I figured, somebody's asking that, a whole bunch of other people are asking that. So I figured I would show you how I make a dirty martini. So a dirty martini, you need some nice gin. I use gin, you can use vodka. I use gin, this is a Spanish gin that I bought at my friend's craft and crew around the corner here. Um, some dry vermouth and uh, just basically, so I put some ice in here, so my glass is getting nice and cold. What I do, um, this is more gin and less of anything else. So what I do is I usually just take my um, gin thing here, my measuring, and I do this. I, it's usually three to maybe not half a one, but so I do this, one. I have some ice in this shaker here. Two, three, it's gonna be a good night when I go to four, but we're only gonna to go to three on this one. So we got three in there. I don't actually put the vermouth in there. What I do is I shake this up around, I don't know where my topper, topper is right here, right? Get that nice and cold, the gin and the vermouth, the gin and the vermouth were in the refrigerator, so they're cold kind of do that. So I've, the glass is nice and cold, right? So what I do, I throw the ice away. And then what I do is I just take a little bit of the, I think this is from my friend Joe Gonski years and years ago. This is all gin and very little vermouth. You just kind of go along and you just kind of coat the outside of the glass, then you throw that away. So because the glass is cold, the vermouth kind of hangs there. And what I do, take this, put that in here. Again, this is mostly gin. Um, have my little peeler here. I wash the lemon, just kind of peel a little bit of that, right? Twist that up a little bit. No, I didn't twist too well, but you know what I mean. Um, then what you need is you need a little bit of the brine from the olive. So this brine has a lot of pepper and stuff in it. So I'm just going to just gonna use my spoon and I'm just going to take a little bit of it. Because again, you put too much, you can't take it away. So I'm just going to put, that's maybe a half a, teaspoon, that's just a little in there. I'm gonna take my, my long um, toothpicks, I'm going to try to skewer three olives. I like the olives usually with blue cheese, and I'm not one of skewering these, but no blue cheese in these olives, these are just pitted olives. Throw it in there, put that in there. I think I'm gonna do another peel here. Just gonna, what I'm doing is I'm just peeling the lemon. Gonna give that a twist, put that in there. And there, my friends, is a dirty martini. Need a little bit more of the brine. And I'm just adding that is a great oh that's so good I hope that this helps you um, during this COVID living that we're living in seems to be my Thursday afternoon go-to drink we're doing a virtual cocktail party and perhaps you want to make one of these but this is what I'm drinking during my virtual cocktail parties. Thanks for watching.